if you notice that you're wanting to check out a little more than usual, or maybe you're reverting back to old patterns, are there certain triggers that you know make you want to check out more than at other times? I'm Jenny Brav of Radiant Wholeness Healing, and today we're going to be exploring why and how you tend to check out or distract or procrastinate and ways to check back in with yourself and with your body. I know that for me, one of the main triggers is physical pain associated with a connective tissue disorder that I have, especially at times when I just don't really know what to do to make it better or the things that I'm trying are actually aggravating things. And so one of the symptoms that I need to check back in with my body, with myself, see what's happening is when I start scrolling, looking at my phone more than usual, or maybe after I'm done with my work day, instead of wanting to meditate and journal, I'm wanting to veg out, watch a show. And so I'm curious what some of your favorite ways of checking out are and what are some of your triggers. So feel free to comment below. While it's easy to go into shame or blame or beating ourselves up over these patterns, they're really just indicators that some part of us is really wanting and needing loving intention. So first I invite you to think about what some of the conditions are that lead you to want to check out. And when I say checking out, it can be anything. It can be addictive behaviors, it can be partying, it can be vegging out, just anything that you know pulls you out of yourself, your higher self pulls you out of doing the things that you would actually like to do, nourish you. And so I'm curious if there are certain emotions like overwhelm, anger, powerlessness, or conditions like being asked to do things at work or at school or having too much on your plate that lead you to want to check out. And then what some of those patterns are, what are the behaviors that you do when you're just not wanting to be present. If you want to pause and write down what you're getting, feel free to do that. And you might also want to think of when maybe in your childhood you started checking out, distracting, it might not be in the same way that you are now, to deal with something that felt difficult or where you felt powerless, out of control, angry. That could have been at school or at home. And when you're ready, we're gonna start tapping. So I invite you to take a deep breath in through your nose, exhaling out your mouth, making a little sighing sound tapping on the side of your hand. Even though I've been checking out, and you can say that out loud or in your head, you can modify the words as you need to. And notice also how charged the checking out feels for you when you think about it from zero to 10, 10 being the most charged. Even though I've been checking out, because I've been feeling overwhelmed, angry, powerless. And part of me is beating myself up for it. And part of me can't stop. I'm open to loving and accepting myself deeply and completely with all of this deep breath. Hopping on your head, checking out. Inside of the eyebrows, procrastinating. Outside of the eyes, checking out. Under the eyes, breathe. Under and above the lips, don't want to be here. Under the collarbone, checking out. Middle of the sternum, 
I acknowledge the part of me that does not want to be here. Breathe. Ribs. I've been feeling so many emotions. Side of the body, high overwhelm. Inside and outside of the rest, fear. Frustration. Powerlessness. And feel free to add any emotions that have been coming up for you inside of the eyebrows. I feel you outside of the eyes. Hi, young part of me under the eyes who learned to distract under and above the lips when you felt these emotions. Under the collarbone, I see you, middle of the sternum. I acknowledge you, ribs. I'm sorry that things were so overwhelming back then. Side of the body, and you felt that you had no control. inside and outside of the rest. Other rest felt so powerless. Head under those circumstances, inside of the eyebrows. It was so smart of you, outside of the eyes and brave under the eyes to learn to distract, under and above the lips, leave your body under the collarbone. Do whatever you needed to do to survive. Middle of the sternum, that's exactly what you had to do back then. Ribs, and it got us far. Deep breath. Exhale side of the body. And it's possible that it's safe for us to be in our bodies and present now. Rest. I have so many tools and resources. Other rest that you didn't have. Deep breath. head, but it's possible we don't have to be scared of our emotions anymore. Inside of the eyebrows. Or scared of our body. Outside of the eyes. under the eyes. It's possible we can cut out the middle person under and above the lips and go straight to the emotions. Under the collarbone, high pattern of checking out middle of the sternum. Thank you so much, Rams, for helping my younger self, side of the body, and me, rest when things feel like too much. Other rest, you have served a purpose head and got me where I am today. Inside of the eyebrows, and I can hang on to this as long as I need to. Outside of the eyes, as long as I want to. Under the eyes, 
to feel safe. And then about the lips, a little more in control. Under the collarbone. And part of me is ready for the upgrade. Middle of the sternum. Maybe I don't need to be afraid of those emotions. Ribs. Because underneath the checking out, side of the body is fear. And feel free to list any other emotions that might be underneath the checking out pattern. Rest, overwhelm, other wrist, anger, head, powerlessness. Good, breathe. inside of the eyebrows, not feeling those emotions outside of the eyes. Help me feel more in control back then, under the eyes. Breathe. Under and above the lips. But now it's only making me feel less in control. Under the collarbone unable to access my own joy and aliveness, middle of sternum. It's possible I'm ready to release this now. Good, take a deep breath. You can pause in the tapping. And maybe closing your eyes if they're open. And inviting in an aspect of you, it can be a higher self, future self, parallel self, who's already living from that place of being present, checked back in. Of being able to hold the scared younger parts with care and reassurance. And you might see this version of you or have a felt sense. You might just hear words. Just know that they're there. And however you're perceiving this part of you, just let them know that you're struggling with this pattern of checking out, seeing if this version of you has any message, advice, reassurance, loving words for you. Or it could be nonverbal. It might just be a hug, an energy, a color, a feeling. And whatever they're transmitting to you, imagine that you're dropping it into your crown and letting it start to radiate through your neural pathways. Starting to rewire the ones that are conditioned to checking out when things get difficult. Feeling that spreading through your nervous system. And then bringing that feeling into your heart. Your heart feels so ready, it's going to spill over, letting that radiate back out. Setting this as a possibility for you to step into. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. 
tapping all over your body, and shaking it out. And if the charge on the checking out is a less, feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the videos I post on a weekly basis. And also check out my EFT for overwhelm and my movements for settling the nervous system. Thank you so much.